All right, people. I had to stop crying for a while. It's been a while since I did any of the, you know, review. But I've been putting it off since it dropped on Friday. Um, when they see us. This, um, Ava DuVernay, let's pronounce her name, directed, um, docuseries about the Central Park Five, which consists of what I can remember, Corey, Kevin, Raymond, Yusuf, I'm missing number five, I can't remember, I'm so fucked up, um, is a four part, at least an hour and some chain four part, four part docuseries, and it's about the, um, Central Park Five, as everyone called it back in those days, and, um, it was, it really, it was excellent, it was very painful to watch, I got through it, I watched like two hours at work, another two hours at home, and I had to pause it, cry, think, breathe, and come back to it again. It was just so, it was, it was painful. It was painful to watch. It was real. My son, today's Monday, my son was getting on my motherfucking nerves, and all I want to do was hug him so tight, because, um, it's sad. And I was a young kid, but I remember how much it was all the buzz everyone was talking about. It was like one of those craziest stories, the what do you mean, the case of the century type shit in New York City. And it it was um, to what I feel was so great about this story, because of course it's from their perspective, and. Um, it humanized them because they were just young rapists. That's all the fuck they was. That's all the public pushed, um, the media pushed. And everybody owes these men a fucking apology. They need to kiss their fucking feet. And they survived. And they, they got through it. And I don't know. It, it's, I'm fucked up off of this. So I know it's some type of psychological things that they have to go to therapy. Their faith have to be strong because there's no way in hell mentally going through this. And um, people treating you the way that you're treated afterwards. And the system is fucked up. And the, and um, it's, it's fucked up for black and brown people. And um, they showcase that. 30 years later, it's still the fucking same. How many more young black and brown people have gone through the same fucking thing and is going through the same thing? And that's what's so scary. Some things have changed and some things have gotten worse and some things stayed the same. So what happens now? What do we do? It was just so painful. Like, I'm about to tear up just thinking about it. And what I like about this story, the last hour, the last part four, is mainly focusing on Corey Wise. He was the oldest, and he served the the most time. And, um, you know, what was going on in his relationship with his mom, older brother that transitioned into um, a woman, which is so interesting because we're going through that now too, you know, families um, accepting, you know, um, family members who, who transition to their true selves. And I love that um, Isis was cast. Isis King, I think her name is. We all know her from America's Next Top Model. And she's a trans woman. Or whatever, and I'm glad that they cast her in it as um Corey's older sister and the one that cared about her the most, and um, not care about the most, but loved her. And she was murdered. Um, who knows what happened in that whole story? I'm gonna Google that because this is gonna be a rough week because this is a lot to think about I don't even think I'm gonna get some sleep tonight but I was putting it all putting off and I think it needs to be seen this story needs to be told over and over and over and over again because it was excellent and it's just it's just sad and yeah they got a settlement but who the fuck cares
time was lost. It was taken and stripped away. And, of course, we're in the age of cancel culture. And everybody's talking about cancel, whatever the fuck her name, that pushed it so bad. She has convinced herself that these boys did it. And one had got away. After someone confessed, his DNA matches. And, yeah. And how many, many more. It's just, it's disgusting. And it's terrible, but... I just had to talk about it. Go watch it. Go tweet about it. Make sure you say cancel Linda. Let me see what the fuck her name is. Because I heard that she shut down all her social media. Because she know fucking damn well she's a fucking trash bag. I have no faith in religion. Any Like, I don't know. It's just... It's unbelievable that someone can sleep at night knowing that she put a 14-year-old in fucking prison, put a 15-year-old in fucking prison, put a 16-year-old in fucking prison. And it's just, oh, Linda Fairstein. Yeah. I always say it'll be a whole different justice system if prosecutors go to jail. If they were wrong, if they go to prison, it would be a whole different justice system. For sure. For fucking sure. And they should pay for their crimes. These men, now men, the boys, had to serve time for a crime they didn't commit. They didn't commit. So you committed a crime, Linda, and other whore, whatever the fuck that that prosecutor name is, you, you committed a crime. You coerced fucking teenager boys, call them rapists, black rapists. It's deep. I didn't think it was going to be this deep, but it's, I've been hearing about it. I'm like, oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm like, fuck it. I can't put it off no more. And I need to see this. It needs to be told. I need to look at it. I'm rambling, but I'm just fucked up. I, I, I'm not going to be able to sleep because this, I'm going to be doing my own fucking investigation and research and shit. But um, let's discuss. Have you seen it? What the fuck were your thoughts? Um, Yeah. Tell me what you think about this. How did it affect you? Did it affect you? Were you crying? Were you mad, sad, sad, happy? I was all those things. I was all of those things all at once. But part four was the most rough part for me because that ordeal Corey had to go through and he had to do it alone. He had to do it alone. And it just sucks. It just sucks. And it's fucked up. And yeah, let's discuss.